What's up guys, friends, fellow gamers? Today it is 2 o'clock in the morning and Grand Theft Auto has just released for mobile devices. This is including most high-tech mobile phones, uh, most iPads, and the touch generation. If we scroll over here it tells you what version you can do it. And you see it says iPod Touch 4, right? But this one I have is a Touch 3. So if you have a Touch 3 version, you, sh you should still be able to play it, because this is a Touch 3. It doesn't have a camera like Touch 4 does. But as you can see, there's the features. There's a little bit of the screen and gameplay. It just came out literally probably an hour ago, so it doesn't have any ratings or anything. But um, I just want to say, this I'm amazed by this, that Grand Theft Auto 3 is out for the handhelds now. I mean, I'm amazed because of the fact that this first came out on what, PS3 I think it was? And when it first came out on PS3, I used to play the hell out of it. And now I can play it on a mobile device. That's just, it's just insane. So the menu is, you can resume if you're already playing a game. You can start a new game, you can get your stats, you can get the briefs, and you have the options. So we'll go over this just really quick. The options are language, display, audio, and control. And the only thing in display is brightness and subtitles. There's nothing to change how it looks because it does look a little a little rough on the edges to be honest. But again I'm running this on a third generation. I'm sure on the uh, iPod or the iPads I mean it looks fantastic. I'm not sure. I don't have one. Buffering, that's just the um, mission status stuff. Status, how many people you killed and how long you've been playing. Stuff like that. I don't know if you can see this well. I hope you can see it good enough. And, you know, start game. You can resume. But we're going to start a new game. So I can just show you guys this awesome game. You can have new game, load game, delete game, and main menu. So, new game. Yes. I've only played it a little bit just to kind of watch it load. Because I didn't know if it was going to load. Like I said, I have a Generation 3 and it says Generation 4 only. So I was a little scared it wouldn't work. But I've been waiting all month for this. So like I said, I used to play this on a PS3. And I'm just amazed that I can now play this on a handheld device. So you guys can watch this, see how good the graphics look. HD remakes. Now you see it's a little choppy. But again, that might be because I'm running it on a third and not the fourth generation iPod. Sorry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. So far, it's the same story. I recently just played this again for a PC, and it looked pretty rough on PC. This actually looks a little bit better, but when it loads and actually plays, it is a little choppy, which we'll see in a little bit here. To be honest, though, again, I am just amazed I can even play this on a handheld. I definitely think these cutscenes though, they look a lot better than the actual gameplay. I'm really impressed by the cutscenes. It's supposed to be HD remakes, but again, this isn't an iPod, this is a, it's an iTouch. It's not a pad. I bet it looks great on the iPad. The bomb. I don't even know what fell. Like, there's not a hole in the bridge. There's a whole bunch of shit in the way now. I don't know what exactly fell on the bridge. It's kind of funny. It's an awesome new logo. But, um, yeah, okay, now we can play. <laughs> I 
Alright, so you guys excuse me of moving this and wobbling it. It's kind of hard to record this and um, play at the same time, so I'm going to do my best. So, the walking controls are pretty simple. You get in the car with the touch buttons. I mean, everything's pretty damn simplified. I like it. As you can hear, you still have radio. It's at the bottom left here. You scroll left and right to turn it on and off. Let's see if I can find Chatterbox. It's my favorite one. Chatterbox, nice. Oh, it's the classic Chatterbox. I used to listen to this all day. I'd park and seriously just listen to Chatterbox. You can also change the views by clicking this button up here. They have first person, they have the classic cinematic, they have the classic Grand Theft Auto 1 and 2 view. And they have this like outstanding view and they have my favorite which is this one. Let me turn that down a little bit. Again, I'm sorry about um, if you can't see this that great. Um, again, I'm holding touch, so I'm just trying to get it in the best view possible. You hit the map, and it'll show you the map. You can zoom in by pinching and looking around, but it's not quite letting me look at the very top there, so I'm not sure if that I have to unlock that later, probably. And I don't know what the hell that is. Turn that off. I didn't mean to go to that. Go back, and if you click the button below it, it'll take you to your menu. And you can start a new game. This is like the main menu. Just resume and back to your game. So I'm probably just going to do this first mission and that will be the end of our first taking a look at this. You know, our first little let's play of it. First look. And I'll try to get you guys more footage of this, you know. I'm sure you guys want to see how it looks and how it plays. But as you see, it's pretty good. But if you can't tell, like the graphics are really rendering. Like the buildings don't look as good as it normally would. But... It looks pretty awesome in my opinion. Like, I'm still just amazed that I'm playing this game. Like, ten years ago I was playing it on a TV and I was so amazed. I would walk around and I'd be like, wow, and I'd explore every inch of this game. And now I'm playing it on a skinny little iPod Touch anywhere I want to go. And I'm just amazed by that. Technology has made it so far in ten years. Ten more years, will, will we be playing Grand Theft Auto 4 on the next little handheld version of iPods we have? Wouldn't that be crazy? I don't doubt it now. So pretty much I've heard the same dialogue, but it's the 10th anniversary, so I'm sure they added some new stuff in here. But uh, we're going to do this first little mission for Luigi and go over there and see how everything looks. And like I said, that'll be the end of this video. I want to get this out to you, so I don't want to make it too long. If I make it too long, it's going to take me all day to upload it. I want to get this out to you quick, because this just came out. So I'm going to get out the car and grab that bat. The controls seem really good. Like, I right away picked them up and knew how to play. Um, you can just swing your bat, as you see. And you just swoop left and, you swoop left and right to change your weapons. So get back in the car. And like, I'm seriously learning this stuff while you're learning it, because I just got this game and I only played it for a little while. I mean, right now I'm, I'm farther than I was when I played it. I just played it a little bit to see if it run properly. Because like I said, I'm using a third generation iPod, not the fourth, so I was a little nervous that I wouldn't be able to download it. So I'm going to turn the radio off so I can kind of listen to myself. But that's amazing how it has Chatterbox and all my favorite radio stations. Oh, the classic Luigi's Girl. Like I said, I just recently played this for PC, so it's really awesome playing it on here. It looks a lot better on here, to be honest. The one I had for PC was kind of choppy. Sorry if this looks a little bad. I'm kind of watching it, trying to get in the best angle. It's hard recording a eye touch on a camcorder, especially when you're holding it. <laughs> Everything seems to be looking really good, though. It's a little blurry, but you know, it's nice. So do you guys that actually played Grand Theft Auto 3, you don't know if you haven't, have you been living under a roof, this has been out for so long, but this right here is just classic. Like these missions I've done so many times, it's so classic to be able to play this again and enjoy it. And this is going to be something that I'm going to be playing a lot. And this has brought back so much life to my touch, I'll be playing the hell out of this thing. 
I, I haven't been using the iTouch. I've been playing uh, the 3DS of the new Mario Karts. But now that I have this on here, oh yes, this is going to get used. <laughs> the battery life on this thing will be drained. But it definitely has like uh, rendering in the background. You can see stuff loading. It definitely, uh, if you see a little bit blurring, it's probably the camera. The blur isn't that bad on this game. It's just, um, it does blur a little bit and does have some loading times, as you can see. But all in all, it's playing excellent. There's some buttons on here. I'm not sure what they are. Like that burnout. I'm not sure what that is. Soup your finger in the center of the screen to look around. Oh, so you can like fully look around 360 circle. That's freaking awesome too. I didn't even know that. Press camera mode to change the camera mode. He already showed you guys the camera mode. I think I pretty much showed you guys all the stuff. I'm going to drop her off and I'm going to go beat some pedestrians and see how that runs. And it's going to be in this video. Because we're already 11 minutes in. And it's going to take me a minute to upload this. So I want to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. I love covering games as soon as they came out. And this seriously just came out. As soon as they come out. 1500 picking up a whore. That's awesome. You wouldn't. You don't even like get money on the new one. I think you get respect. So yeah, let's get out and beat some Justins. Now we did our first mission. Oh yeah, look at me go. Get out my bat. Let's do some work. They have taxi missions still. That's awesome. Oh man, my first hooker. I'm gonna beat up my first hooker. Yeah! How classic is that? Beating the first hooker. That was one of the first things I did on the old school Grand Theft Auto. So anyway guys, I'm going to go back and I'm going to save in my crib. And I'm going to post this video for you guys. And I will get some more gameplay of this out for you guys. I know you guys want to see it. Get some weapons, see how they shoot, see if they fix the mechanics of shooting or not. I'm not sure if they, you know, if they fix anything or you just straight forward it. I'm pretty sure they had to do something. It did say they fixed the graphics. So hopefully they got new missions, and hopefully they fixed the controls or the shooting a little bit. Because I remember the shooting was a little rough in the other one, so I don't know. We'll have to see. So I'm going to go in here and save. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up for me posting this right away. I mean, I posted this pretty damn quick. Let me go to the first slot. I posted this pretty quick, if you ask me. It just came out an hour ago, so hope you guys enjoyed it. That was our first look at Grand Theft Auto 3 for mobile devices. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll post more later. Leave in the comments what you want to see, and uh, peace. Talk to you later.